most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about some tips for wearing, cleaning, sleeping with, and bathing with a neck brace or cervical collar. Mm -hmm. um, if you have to wear a collar, this is probably indicated by your physician, usually ordered by him, um, and they probably will provide you with some instructions. Right. In case they don't, or even if they do, here's some general rules. Right. You yeah. say you forgot, or you want to, you know, just see what's going to happen or for a relative or a friend or yeah. whatever. Yeah, and some of these are quite common sense, but some of them you may not be aware of. The mm. first thing is you want to make sure the fit is okay. Um, you want to make sure that it's comfortable and not too tight, but it has to be tight enough to provide support. You can't keep it so loose, like, oh, it feels really good then, but your neck is moving around. So right. you got to find that happy medium. And most of them are adjustable with Velcro or uh, snaps or yeah. some type of adjustment. Number two, despite the fact you're wearing a brace and you think, oh, that's going to put me in a good posture, you can kind of have bad posture mm -hmm. yet when yep. you're in it. And you really want to focus on good posture. Yeah. Trying to get those ears over the shoulders. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, you can't, if you're leaning forward and you're kind of got your jaw or something resting on the brace, you know, we don't want that. We want to get it up here. And, and yeah, look how his ears line up with his shoulders. Uh, this way. Yep. Uh, number three, this one's probably not obvious to you, but actually walking a lot while you have the brace in place, it's going to get increased blood flow to, flow to the neck. It's mm -hmm. going to help it heal faster. Right. You just want to make it a point of, if you can, walk in 15 to 20 minutes. That's usually when you start getting a good oxygenation uh, to the neck and right. to the body parts. And, you know, your doctor will give you precautions if, the, wa the jarring of walking is going to irritate your neck. but So, you know, they'll let you know if you have precautions. Uh, number four, avoid carrying or lifting heavy objects. Uh, mm. You may think, oh, that just puts stress on my arms or my back. Mm. No, no. <laughs> your whole neck muscle is constrained when you're, when you're lifting something heavy or carrying well, something heavy. Well, a lot of your muscles that support your shoulders go and do connect to the cervical spine, the, the upper traps, the medium traps, and... Uh, the elevator scapula crosses that. There's a lot of little muscles that uh, it's all connected. You know, the hip bone is connected to the knee bone kind of. A, that song. That's right. But we're talking in the neck. So you also want to avoid sitting in like soft, low chairs or couches because when you sit in those, you sink in. Now, this might not be a low enough for me even too but to, to, to demonstrate. But yeah. you sink in, what's the first thing you're going to do? You're round out. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times we'll take like a throw pillow and put it behind you yep. if you have to do that. But generally, you kind of want to avoid those low surfaces to start off with, like yeah. bleachers be yeah. another one. Yeah. When you got that collar on and you do sit, it's nice to have just have some different size pillows around so you can support your back and maybe one on your head because that. Yeah. Do you want to show that real quick, just spread uh, for for lying down, like. You, when you're lying on your back, you only want one, one pillow sure. on, on your side. Yep. One, you probably want to be on this side, though, because you're Mike. Mike? Yeah. yeah. So I'll just move out of the way. Uh, so you're not going to use two pillows where it forces your head in this flex position. Uh, it's, it's not one, Even if you're not wearing a brace, you don't want to yeah, do Yeah, right. Um, one so pillow. Yeah, one pillow here. Now, again, look how his ears line up with his shoulders real well there. And, uh, I, you know... Whether they're going to make you wear the brace at night, I don't know. Sometimes they don't. Um, and, and if you're on your side, then you're going you're gonna to have two pillows to fill in that gap and, you know, so that everything is comfortable and in line in regards to the spine. Yep. Very good. Thanks, Brad. So it's a couple of tips for cleaning uh, the brace. You, you should wash it daily. These things, <laughs> bacteria can grow on it. It, it, it. it gets pretty scummy pretty quick. It, especially if it's warm climate temperature out there and you perspire it, that's pretty obvious. We yeah. don't have to get into details. And it, it can lead to skin irritation. Mm, I mean, yeah, it, that it, is absolutely. very uncomfortable. So uh, you wash it with just warm water and gentle soap. Don't use a harsh detergent. Obviously, bleaches or soap because they can irritate the skin. Yeah. Um, the hard collars, I guess you can rinse the front and back panels. And, of course, you would replace any dirty pads. Right. Uh, a lot of times the pads are Velcro to it. You can take it apart. Right. They're made to be clean, typically. Uh, when you put it back on again, always, again, make sure that it fits correctly. Don't 
have it too loose or too tight because again the problems nope. if it's too tight it could rub and cause skin breakdown sure. also so that's really it brad I, that's sure all you dry oh. it out before you yeah yeah that's a good point so <laughs> that's not bad though it's uh it's pretty straightforward yeah good luck